Gotta get them hands up, hands up. That song? That, that no, I just made it. It's called Improv, oh, wow. man. Wow. Improv. Man. Your favorite you know, improv. You just love yeah. improv. Yeah. Love it. love it, dude. It's officially too late for this to be actively relevant, but I've been meaning to say that there are parts of the DS9 intro that remind me very distinctly of the NBC Olympics themes. Which one? The- oh, like, it's, the, it's the part that goes, uh, well, it's the one that it reminds me of is bum, 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 bum. Oh, that thing. Yeah, bum, yeah, yeah. Bum, bum, oh. bum, bum, bum. Ba, 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 copyright <laughs> now we're dead that song is stuck in my head because when my dad bought his first bmw it came <laughs> with a demo cassette of olympic tape. music yeah and the cassette tape Stop. had like demo music and one why? of them was that song <laughs> that's why, weird. why did he have that was that a mistake was no that on no it, it's like it like like the bmw was like we're proud to present a Bose listening system in your BMW. Oh. And you, you sound like a wow. like a Victoria Beckham. <laughs> Tell yeah. the truth. What, yeah. what, 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 car, what car did your dad drive? <laughs> well, yeah. it, it, it's not important. Tell the truth. I said a BMW. Uh, a Rolls Royce. <laughs> I said a BMW. Mm, like, your parents' love affair with the BMWs is... Yeah, it's a little much. It's uh, overkill. Yeah, it's come to bite hey, us in the butt multiple they, they times. They need to buy a yeah. Suzuki, dude. That's what. That's where the fucking power is at, dude. The, the, yeah. the Joe Suzuki. Yeah. yeah. Some well, people just love that logo. Well, yeah, that theme. Dude. Let's might as well just play the theme then. <laughs> I like See, our version better though. It's like the Western Olympics now. <laughs> oh, oh man, what would, would the watch Western that. Olympics be like? Um, break dancing. Break dancing. dancing. <laughs> you know, yeah. Square dancing. Time. Square dancing. Would Square be dancing. Fighting. Yeah. Fighting. Oh, wait, I have I have a question for the audience, Trick and I want to know I want to know if I'm unique in this experience. Please write in or comment if you ever had to learn how to square dance in school. It was everybody. That was everybody. That was everybody. I did. Yeah, no, I didn't. Really? Yeah. Wow, everyone I here it was did. Just the Florida yeah. thing. Oh no, everybody did. We had to learn how to dance to Elvira. So, uh, you, so probably, you all did square dancing, right? Like, I'm not yeah, crazy. I did okay. not but at It was all. like for a single, like, very brief little thing. It's like, uh, you, 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 we're introducing you to square dancing. You're going to learn to dance, what, and that's what, it. What grade? Chop, chop. Now I'm curious. What grade did I you guys... I say, like, second? Middle school. Middle school for me. Middle it school. It was, like, first or second. It was, like, elementary. Okay, so for Sarah and Dan, yeah. early elementary. But for Ricardo, middle school. Okay. Did yeah. you have to put a performance on for your family, Dan? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. like that. There was that. There was that aspect yeah. to it, and then yeah. like it was like a multicultural sort of a no, like didn't. assembly presentation thing. Yeah, I, I, I did okay. not. I did not do square right? dancing. Okay, at so all. Mar- I would tell Marvin this. I'm like, oh, you didn't have a square dancing section in your PE class. That's so class? weird because Marvin and I grew up so much closer to each other yeah. than I did to you. Yeah, but he's yeah, like, no, I would no, assume that, that our districts like, were closer together. He's like, know. that sounds like a Florida thing. That's lame. That's weird. Why would you learn <laughs> square dancing? I'm like, I don't know. It was mandatory for us. We had to do it. I, I hate that. I, I hope they don't do that anymore. You know what? A lot of people would go back in time and like kill Hitler or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I would go back in time and kill fucking Henry Ford, dude. That piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's done so many work. Like, yeah, he gave us the automobile, dude. But he's a piece of shit, dude. He like he like made working conditions horrible. He yeah. gave us a two weekend fucking two two day weekend bullshit, dude. We need, we need okay, at least three I know, four days. I know, I know what you're referencing. Um, Henry Ford actually gave people a weekend back in the day. There were no weekends. He should have gave us three days. That's what I'm saying. He only gave us two. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. That. We need up. three day weekends. Yeah, uh, I mean, but who he was gave also, us the forty hour work week? Who he the was fuck also gave a capitalist? So you know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is, we just we watched Captive Pursuit. If, if this Ford wants week. to advertise on this shit, tell him to go fuck themselves, dude. <laughs> Uh, one day, one day they'll they'll ask for our representation, and we'll whisper back, "No, no." And that's yeah, that's dude. my Watchmen reference for the year. Uh, yeah. And I never, I don't need to reference it. Again. You love the Snyder Cut, famously. Dude. I love, I love everything Zack Snyder's ever done. Yeah, dude, love- yeah like your favorite you, version yeah. of the Watchmen is the one that uh, cuts in that cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, that's I, the best version. Yeah, I fucking well, love. Well, it's Man crazy because you said you 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 famously said uh, they should release three hundred the Snyder cut, 
And then someone yeah. said, well, that is a Snyder cut. And he's like, nah, there's, there's another cut. There's, there's a, a Snyder cut. Yeah. yeah. Just like, just like fucking Rebel Moon. There's a Snyder cut <laughs> of Rebel Moon coming out. <laughs> yeah. You can't even make that joke because it happened. <laughs> you know, this is not the fucking stupidest thing. I mean, it, that is your cut. So you're admitting you just fucked up the first time. <laughs> well, unless he can, unless he can, you know, claim studio meddling like Ridley Scott. No, does it's Netflix. Netflix, Netflix can't, doesn't can't. care. <laughs> like, he can say they did. Especially for their filmmakers. Netflix does not care. Netflix just lets them do whatever they want. They're just like, please give us a movie. <laughs> like, well, come on. You've seen those Adam Sandler movies. They're under strict quality control. <laughs> exactly. If Adam Sandler movies are allowed to come out the way they are. Clearly impeccable every single one. <laughs> yeah. Bangers, dude. Uh, we watched fucking Captive Pursuit this week. Uh Captive Pursuit, the weird kind of future fox hunt movie or show episode, I guess. The most dangerous game. Yeah. Yeah. Again. That's what oh, I was yeah. gonna say. You know what? Mo- that's one of my favorite short stories. That's one of my favorite uh criterion films. Mm-hmm. And it's a great premise in general. Yeah. <clears throat> it is. It is the greatest. The greatest the, premise. <laughs> the greatest premise on earth. The most Bigly, dangerous premise. <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say, what is what, what is the quote? Like the the most dangerous... Uh, Game of is, all is man. Yes. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I also like any... I would have like, said pickleball. Any offshoot, <laughs> any offshoot of that, like Hard Target is a really good version right, of the most right. dangerous game or like... Right. Stuff like that. And there's like so Hunger many games, versions. Hunger Games basically is. Yeah. Of, there's so many versions of the most I dangerous game. I think the real question is, is why do we like hunting other people? We don't. Because it's the greatest game. I mean, yeah, the idea is that there's it's no wrong. greater adversary. <laughs> yeah. It seems really cruel. But the there's moral no of the story is <laughs> than one who can match your wits. I, imagine, imagine like back in the day. Okay. The thirties, mm-hmm. uh, probably the twenties when this is when the, when the short story. Thirties, thirties or forties when it was written. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when did the, um, the most dangerous? I'll, I'll, I'll agree. I'll it's probably f- either from twenty-five to thirty-eight. I'm gonna say. Wow, I feel like it was the peak time during which like rich guys would just go on safari to kill shit. Yeah, what is you're it? right on. It's January nineteenth, nineteen twenty-four. So you wow. bang nice. on. God yeah. damn it, dude. Yeah. So so here's the thing. You had to imagine you're back then. A lot of people are still hunting for their food. Do you know what I mean? Like literally, okay. you have to hunt for your food. Yeah. And big game hunting was like, like Dan was saying, was like in vogue for the rich. Like yeah. it's like a thing they did for fun because they didn't do anything else. Like basically. exotic killings. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. of like Catalina Island where they like put all those exotic animals on the island and yeah. then like they all like died. And like well, that, they would well, go there and hunt. Well, that was for filming the Catalina Island. No, no, no. They did them for hunting too. That, that's oh, they did also, for hunting yes, too. yes, oh, yes. Okay. For right. rich people to go hunt exotic animals. Okay. So there you go. That's where it comes from. Imagine like back in the day. <laughs> okay. And you're like. Paint me a picture. I could, back hunt, in the day. I could hunt anything. Okay. Can hunt anything. But they're not going to fight back or be oh. as smart and cunning. As if I was hunting myself. I don't know. I would think hunting a I cheetah or something. I can't hear them curse something. my family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hunting a cheetah or almost any big game animal would be smarter than hunting me. Yeah. What they really should have done is be be like real hunters, throw their guns away and try yeah. to take down a bear with their fists. Yeah. You know, like that's what they really or, or should have done. Or just a knife. You know what I mean? Oh, no, just fuck that. That's too much of a advantage. No, okay. go Odo okay. style. Odo, go Odo. Yeah, Odo them. has no weapons. He, he's mm-hmm. like, I don't need a weapon. You know, I don't need a weapon. Yeah, but he can. He can make he can make his arm into jelly and just uh, <laughs> that's true you know he can Dude, wait, does that count yeah. can he make his arm into a weapon and that doesn't really count is that well, right? I don't have a secret Batman shrine in his office <laughs> yeah he's actually sure like a super strong detective stoic guy because he grew up reading Batman comics yeah and I that's feel like you know he he could <laughs> view him as a role model based on what we've seen so but far. like are hunting other humans truly like the top of the top for hunting or is it more exciting because you're not supposed to do it and it I feels know, it's like ooh. it's a, it's the most dangerous game i think it's also it is like uh, the, it depends clearly, on hunting cl- again clearly, if you're hunting me it's not dangerous at all sarah clearly <laughs> you've never seen you've never seen fucking hard target dude <laughs> i am not a dangerous person to hunt i will i will cower in a corner and you will be able to kill me instantly there will be no you need to just <laughs> i don't get it you, you well, you, I, I know why you don't get it because you haven't I seen don't. Hard Target. You see, 
Van Damme Damme's sweet mullet. <laughs> but she's not a hard target. It. She is not hard, a hard target. I'm not Van Damme. I'm not a hard target. I'm an easy target. I'm not a hard target. None but, of us here are a hard target. I don't think okay. anyone here would be. I don't think anyone here would be harder to catch and kill than like a cheetah. No, or even none like of us here are more difficult to hunt than say an elephant. Okay, like you guys, you guys have never. <laughs> oh, I think an hunted. elephant is extremely hard to hunt. I, I think okay. I would actually give the elephant, you know, more skill than me. An elephant to be would definitely outdo me in a hunting exercise. Almost, again, almost any animal. If you, not you need, all of you them need an exceptional be human being in order to, for it to be a dangerous game. You, you need. You need the Van Dam. But that's you, kind yeah. of the point, right? Is they would, so, I mean, and going back to the episode a little bit, like they select certain people, right? In the short story, they hunt, or, and even in Hard Target, they're hunting people who have military experience. Okay. Uh, okay because they would right, have, yeah, yeah. they would know how to like survive, evade, and even stalk back. Yeah, and, yeah, like, exactly. Stalk the, stalk. Okay. So like, that's the whole point of the fucking short story. And that's the whole point of the goddamn movies is that the hunter becomes a prey at one yeah, point. Yes. Yes. Mm. And, and that's what's and, appealing. That's what's so appealing about the, the any type of media like that, that you're like, it, you wait for it for the turn. You know what I mean? But, but like, it's oh, also gets the, a, a the whole point also is supposed to be that it's very immoral what they're doing. And that's why right. you want yeah. the hunter to become the hunted. It's not like, it's like, that. Maybe not like cannibalism, but it feels like weird. It feels like, you know, you shouldn't want to go hunt and kill people yeah, or I animals mean, for I that mean, that, fact. I mean, that that was why they did they did it. They were like, that's this is awful. This is, wouldn't it be great if the hunters got killed instead? And that's, that's sort of the but, thing. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tread lightly. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. <laughs> We do not support hunting on this channel. Okay, uh, well, I, 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 I don't uh, agree or disagree with you. Um, I am not a sports well, huntman. I, I, I don't sports hunt, but... but sports hunt, um, uh, um, but that is different from like indigenous, you know, hunting and gathering Yeah, hunting for, for sport is lame. Hunting I mean, hunting you, for sport. Because you got to eat great. something that that's... Like that's the survival. Jared Kushners yeah. of the world going and like killing a giraffe or like a rhino or yeah. something. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't care how what kind of hunter you are. As long as you're eating what you're killing. Oh, like uh, then I'm fine. Ninety nine percent of people are not eating what they're killing. Yeah, uh, well, that's a wild number. That's not fucking true at all. <laughs> 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 you, you're such I'm a pretty fucking, sure you, you're a politician. I did the, I did the research. Ninety nine percent of most, people are most not most people. It. Most people like in Middle America, they go hunting for like deer stuff. Yeah, deer. they actually yeah. for any, for anything. Sure, gator. They fucking. I've, eat I've, it. I've tried deer like, before. You you're, you're like using it. it or using pelts or using you know. Sure, I, I'm more um, against the sport hunting type. Yeah, yeah we're getting away from the premise yeah. of the show, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. No, know, we're, we're still we're, we're still here. we're still lightly on it, or people, reptiles, Tork, yeah. or whatever his name is, Tosk, Tosk, yeah, yeah. Tork, 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 we're hunting Tork, 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 and his friend characters. fucking and his friend fucking Dom Toretto, dude. <laughs> 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 like it know. sucks that I keep on wanting to like just refer to Tosk as reptile for Mortal Kombat, but yes. calling him reptile isn't funny because you're calling him reptile, which is just a normal noun. Yeah. It's not a name. Let, let's it isn't call, a good let's, enough name. Let's call him chameleon with a K. Let's do that. He's chameleon. Comma, 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 comma. <laughs> uh, well, Captive Pursuit, it first aired on January 30th of 1993. Let's go, as someone in our comments said, Around the black hole. Yeah. The worm, maybe, maybe what good. about the, I thought it would be the wormhole now. The wormhole. No, it's a butthole. The black <laughs> hole, the wormhole. How Close many enough. holes? Et cetera. Which hole? Which hole are we going around? <laughs> well, it was like we said, the 30th, which is five days after the last airing of any Star Trek at whatsoever. And just in case you need a reminder that it was the 90s, Michael Jackson and Mariah Carey had just won big at the American Music Awards. Yeah. Also, on the 25th of January, Puerto Rico added English as its second official language. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, it took that long for it to happen. Uh, although I think today they're still only five, 
percent of the population there that speaks it. I saw that makes sense. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes um, perfect sense. Yeah, exactly. Um, on the twenty fifth, also, the department store Sears announced the closing of its catalog sales department. Two years before, Mo admitted that he was going to sit at home and ogle the ladies in the Sears catalog, <laughs> meaning that after the catalog was discontinued, Mo just kept one around for ogling, which is a new layer to the joke I never got. <laughs> uh, he just, he uh, just, you know, he just kept a bunch of old mags around. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. All right. And that's actually all I had. It was a pretty, pretty sparse one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Music stop now. Uh, I, Aww. you know what? You're mentioning the date. You're mentioning the time. And you know what? I'm, I think I'm old enough to like have lived through the non TiVo days. I think, I think we all are, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. TiVo I mean, was as a, a new kid, thing. You didn't have once, a TiVo, yeah. right? No. Like, yeah. No. no one, yeah. None, none okay. of us had a TiVo. Gr- growing up, it was a VCR. And you I didn't like, have a TiVo until yeah. I got out of high school. And like, or like uh, I didn't have one until I was in yeah. college. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah. I never had a TiVo, actually. Yeah. So it, it, I'm just kind of like, every time I watch an episode of these or The Next Generation, I think like being a fan of TV and, and, I, and I could I could see it as like, uh, on the cartoon side, because like I'd be like into cartoons, whether it be like mm-hmm. Thundercats or Mask. Those oh, cars. the Mask cartoon. Oh, yeah, wow. not the Mask. Mask. The yeah. cars that would turn into like crazy. Remember those? Oh, the one that went, bah, 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 bah. Oh. yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's cops. That's cops. Damn it. <laughs> Um, Same era, but, which was cool, yeah, yeah. And then sometimes they you, they show cartoons on Saturdays, and you'd be like, "Fuck, dude, I really have to do this thing." Whether it was like uh, you know a family thing, and then you're like, "I'm gonna miss this fucking episode," uh-huh. and yeah. then you'd have to like just wait till the fucking summer till they start rerunning them. Yeah, but uh, then you'd yep. be like, "I missed that one," and like, how am I gonna figure out when they're gonna re-air it? And then if you weren't fucking rich and couldn't afford a fucking TV guide, you wouldn't know when they would air them. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Right. I would have to go to like an aunt's house who got the TV like, guide get and be the like, TV let, guide. Yeah, <laughs> let me. Let me. You'd have to do a whole ass research dude, project. Dude, you know what I would it? do is I would I would go to my aunt's house and take a notebook and write down my shows and what days oh and what episodes. Oh my god, god we've come so like, far. We've come yeah. so far. Like yeah. very few people had your level of dedication, Ricardo. And what you're describing is exactly why serialized television just wasn't a thing. Back then. Yeah. yeah. And also, yeah. even back then, like you mentioned cartoons, a lot of the TV guide listings for cartoons were just completely inaccurate because the yeah, show would just, yeah. the, the station would just air whatever was available. And yeah. I remember, oh, I hated when that happened. Yeah. So distinctly, I remember as a kid uh, in elementary school, I wanted to see the, ser- <laughs> the, the series finale of Mad Max, not Mad Max, uh, Mighty Max. Oh, the, right. Mighty Max. Because I I had heard Mighty Max ends very darkly. And every day before school, like it's a 30 minute, it's a 22 minute show. So I would be like catching the start of it. I'm like, no, that's not the finale. Let's go to school. You know, oh, it's not the finale. Let's go to school. And one day, finally, I caught it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to school late. I'm going to watch <laughs> Mighty Max. And mm-hmm. it is a dark ass. Everyone dies at the end of nice. Mighty Max. <laughs> and Max. Your parents ha- sanctioned this? You uh, yeah, I was, just, for- I, I was like, I got I to gotta watch this. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah. And okay. then, uh, and then he uses the the magical hat to return to the beginning of the series. So the entire series becomes a loop. The hat oh, he geez. receives out of the sky in the beginning of the show is the hat that he throws back in time. So it becomes a whole loop. And that's that how is my- kind of dark. Yeah, it was a dark ass ending. And I was Did like, your parents send you to school with a note saying, uh, please excuse our son. <laughs> he was busy watching Mighty Max. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe that's, I meant that could have been what happened, but before we, before we get too far, let's do our sponsors and we're going to start off with a new sponsor this week. And this one sponsor I'm very excited for. So for a very long time, we had wanted ease as a sponsor. (gasps) Shut up, dude. We don't Shut have these. Up, we don't have dude. these. We don't have these. Oh, then forget it, dude. I don't we, wanna, okay. I don't God so, damn it, Marvin. Why would you start this way, Marvin? Why would you yeah, do Marvin, that? Because we can't. Because we can't. Ricardo's <laughs> permanently ease, negative now. He's not going to get excited now. Ease would be stuck to the state of California. It would not be very widely accessible. It would not God be a very good damn sponsor. damn it, dude. Marvin, this better be amazing, dude. <laughs> but we have- This better be a, Fleshlight, dude. We, we, Marvin's <laughs> upset, dude. We have a similar sponsor. It's called House of Wise. And what House of Wise offers is a wide range of- of CBD products that they ship all over America and even some places internationally. So these include like gummies, chocolates, candles, and even pre-rolls. 
if you know what pre-rolls are. And oh, yeah, dude. they have unique formulations designed to help for different needs. So you know Hell how like yeah, they've dude. started to do different chemical formulations of CBD compounds so that, so this one will help you sleep better. Yeah. Uh, this one's better for managing stress. This one gives you more energy. And they even have a line that's for upping your libido very specifically. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> so, you want to get cranking? <laughs> you got to get wise about can it. Can I take that? Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I have personally... I don't know about everyone. I think probably everyone on this channel to some degree has, uh, or this podcast has used. Has us. it problems with libido? <laughs> yeah. No, has used CBD. I thought you were going to go, like, I thought you were gonna go with that, Marvin. I was like, I was like whoa, I don't think, I don't think this is any <laughs> You're like, no, everybody's, no, no. everybody's had a soft direction <laughs> before, right, guys? Everyone, everyone's gone half mast at least had, once. Everyone's <laughs> had erectile dysfunction. Everyone has a, a little, times. a little pill, a little bottle of blue little pills. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it sound like has everyone here tried that. CBD products before? Uh, oh, let me tell you, yes. Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> I can give a class on this, brother. <laughs> okay, well, I have tried CBD products at least, and it did help me a lot with sleep. It's one of the few things in general that has ever helped me with sleep. Like Sarah gives me all sorts of weird things when I say I can't sleep. Um, she's even given me like... I don't know, like like the little baby Xanax you take when you're supposed to go on a plane ride to help with anxiety, and that didn't help. Like none of this should help, but CBD helped before. Um, so if you guys want to check out their products, you can just go to House of Wise, like Wise as in like a wise person. dot co slash newbie Star Trek, or you could just go to houseofwise.co and use our promo code newbie Star Trek, and that gets you an additional ten percent off any ongoing sale they have going on on top of whatever they're doing. So check out their products. And this is part of what I thought was really cool to to vibe with them. Free shipping on any order over $69. Damn, nice. so they, know, these dude. guys fuck, dude. <laughs> they yeah. These guys know. fuck. It's also female yeah. owned. So it's a female owned female company. I'm sorry. Owned. I'm sorry. These these li- these people fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah. These, so, yeah, these yeah, ladies it's a, it's, fuck. It's a female no, owned company. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, they might have male employees, so <laughs> they fuck, dude. They fuck. <laughs> apparently, House of Wise is apparently, the name is apparently a reference to the founder of Tupperware, which was a lady. Very wise. Ironically, <laughs> ironically, uh, Tupperware is a good place to store your weed. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, I think the idea was that the creator of Tupperware, she had her role essentially taken away from her by her husband. So God damn it, I, dude. I think this is like oh. sort of like a fuck it. This is a woman owned business and we're going to try to rede- redeem that. Um, hmm. But yeah, check out their CBD products. Again, you can head on over to y- houseofwise.co slash newbie Star Trek or just go to House of Wise and use our promo code newbie Star Trek and it gets you 10% off your entire order. I cool. you know love what? I love yeah. I love CBD all the BDs. Uh, <laughs> I take them at night and it, and it puts me out, dude. Oh, you, I've so been you, wanting I've been wanting to get my parents to take like not CBD, CBD dude. Projects. I smoke a lot of weed, Marvin. I smoke a lot of weed and it puts me to sleep. <laughs> like I I think it'll change their lives. I think it'll like take them down a couple levels. Yeah, you know, like I've I've been begging them to try some. The way like, you're saying CBD it, products. it sounds like you're saying I want to knock them down a notch. I do. <laughs> yeah. 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 These, these cocky down. bastards <laughs> coming over here. Who doesn't want to knock swagger. their parents down a notch? Like your parents are in. I don't know about you, but my parents are very intense people. So <laughs> it would be very awesome to just like take it down a couple levels. You, know? oh, you think you're all cool with your uppers? We got downers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's, I don't want to go up a few levels. I want to go down a few levels, you know? I oh. And you know what? It's really going to be, if, look, if you really want to get into it mm-hmm. and be like, hey, like if you, if you suffer from like insomnia, Mm-hmm. It is the best thing, but you have to figure out like what the dosage you like is good for yeah. you. It's just like any, it's like taking like antidepressants. You know, you got to find like the right combo. You know what I mean, yeah. the right cocktail. Yeah, there's uh, a certain thing for everybody that, you that fits kinda... your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't if you try once and you're like, I, uh, no, nah, I didn't help. It's just it could be that you you didn't try the right thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, our next sponsor, Extra, they've been a sponsor with us for a long time, and they sent over their card holder pro which I've been enjoying a lot. And Cardholder Pro, if you saw this- You held it to the camera like like the listeners could, he, could see I, it. I'm just, I'm, just for your benefit. J- I guess jackass. so. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, if you saw the spiel I did in the last episode, you, you'll you know it's got all the add-ons yeah. and all that. But we're actually going to interrupt 
this sponsor read with an email. So if you guys would oh, like to send us an email, us? you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact. Oh, this is like inception, this is, dude. This is so weird and new. <laughs> this is I'm an un- email I'm within an, a, an ad read. <laughs> contact at newbiestartrek.com. So it starts off with new wallet idea. Hey, newbies, listening to your idea about the extra wallet button flipping out a condom. I thought, hey, I have an extra wallet. I have a 3D printer. I have a penis. Could you attached is the 3D model.stl files and photos of a little thing that they had created. So let me post that right now. Oh my God. We have the best listeners. That's crazy. They're willing <laughs> to guy, put in the fucking guy, work. This guy 3D printed Dang. a condom holder for his He's extra li- He put in the fucking R&D on this, man. Attached is the 3D model.stl file and photos. Do with as you please. And if you're on YouTube, you should be seeing it now too. I will be trying out some pickup lines where I flip out the condom with my one friend who is too zesty and flirty with me in public. Thanks for all the entertainment. Whoop, yeehaw for Cowboy Dan. Jay, he hit. Dude. Uh, The only thing (laughs) wrong here is the bear skin. um, (laughs) What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The bear skin? yeah, it's the bearskin Trojan, the sensitivity oh, bearskin. Oh, well, here. that's just the, that's just a preference that's, thing. Yeah, that's it's a pre- it. you, what, you what, you're mm. shitting on somebody because they're they're they're, they're <laughs> branded. Yeah, don't, I, don't, I you, you can't like, be doing this, Sarah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're they're practicing safety, and you're fucking shame. You're you're <laughs> dick shame. I shame. am. I am. I am you know judging what? the condom choice, and don't, I I do not. I do not so, like don't the condom shame. One. Oh my goodness. That's that's, that's your taste, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, Man, yeah. they were just trying to do something nice. Yeah, dude. And you're over here like and you're over here for fucking like goat skin. condom choice. Like, I only like goat skinned ones. <laughs> it in fact does not feel like bear skin. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing never shame somebody well, duh, for being safe safe you know <laughs> well, um two here's the yeah, here's the that's thing true, that's true this guy busted out his scalloper dude and yeah. he was measuring yeah the thickness mm-hmm. yeah. the 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 wideness of it yeah. Yeah. putting Conference. in the numbers dude this guy was using fractions probably yeah probably had to calculate using pi yeah yeah, yeah. He oh, probably I hope, used. I hope they don't steal this idea. Yeah. All I went to was algebra. He went way beyond my level. I feel like yeah. this, in this. He was to engineering, this equation. engineering. Yeah, this. geometrical on this shit. And then he put in the fucking thing, and he three D printed this thing. Beautiful, dude. <laughs> dude yeah. Jay, it we, is a beautiful get, work of art. Ask okay. Jay if we could post this on our fucking on our like oh, socials. Oh yeah, and we're we're gonna have the link to the three D model file, the OST, the STL file. He 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 provided the link. Yeah, there's an STL file. This guy. Can, but wow. if, if you, you see this if you guy want to 3D streets? print this shit, it's possible. Yeah. Ooh. If you see this guy on the streets, take him to the sheets. Yeah. Yeah. Take him. He's got him a beer. You know? Yeah. Hopefully not with this condom, though. <laughs> Sarah, God Some people damn it. Like, so now we have You're, official <laughs> newbie Star Trek mods for extra wallets. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. And. and Sarah's going to get fucking hate mail now. <laughs> red flag. Red flag. So in that event. If you guys would like to take advantage of this new 3D printed condom holder for your extra wallet, you're going to need an extra wallet. So head on over to extra.com or shop.extra.com slash newbie in all caps and use our offer code newbie also in all caps. And that'll give you an additional discount off any order site wide at least 5% because this also stacks with ongoing sales. There's ongoing sales it'll automatically still take at least 5% off. And uh, check out their new card holder pro. I've been daily driving it for a little bit now, and I've actually been really enjoying the money clip on the back. I think I like it more than having used a band for the money. And as a result, I'm now using the band to hold like uh, like business cards and stuff that I need to pick up and reference all that. So how much cash do you guys carry with you? Like just on a daily basis? Because now we're like basically like cashless society. Um, But how much do you roll around with cash? I still carry like 200 bucks. Okay. I usually Fucking don't baller, carry cash. Dude. <laughs> I actually tend to like try to keep, yeah, like that or less. I don't really, yeah, I don't really carry cash, but I have a lot of cash on me lately because we've been selling stuff since we're moving, but. Yeah, but it's still, I think, I still think personally it's good to have cash on you. Yeah. Regardless. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just great. Good to have it's great to have cash you on you, but it's know annoying. when you're going to have to pay a bribe you know <laughs> or some palms. Mm-hmm. yeah so uh yeah so you, you want uh, a lot of 20s just 20s is the best <laughs> yeah so you check that out and also extra free shipping free returns within 100 days of receiving your order and at least a 24 month warranty on all products and in fact the cardholder pro itself is now a lifetime warranty the entire lifetime of this wallet you can get you can warranty it which is pretty great so again, you can head on over to extra.com and use our offer code NEWBIE in all caps, and that'll get you at least 5% off any order site-wide. 
What's this guy's name? Cool. The guy that, that printed the thing? Jay. Jay. God damn it, dude. Jay is a legend. Jay. Yeah. Nice yeah. work, Jay. Good Thank work, you for Jay. doing that. You know what? Also, you nice have, work. Have, you have value added to the wallets. Yeah. Actually, dramatically. That is a dramatic imp- a value add to the wallet, in my opinion. So. Yeah. Yeah. Also, good job, Denise Crosby. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? They should hire Jade to fucking like design shit for them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. R&D, Like man. the dick skin wallet. He might he might be the guy that cracks what it. If, what if he gets... <laughs> he, Jay gets a new job at Exco. Jay, Jay, Jay was the Whoa. missing piece. They yeah. needed yeah. Jay's really? say we get, do, they really? sell, do they sell dick skin filament for 3D p- printers? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. But it's not human. It's, it's like it's like um, monkeys or something like that. <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, pigs, sorry, it's pigs. It's pigs. Okay, uh, but so long as you get a big old humans. spool of it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah big yeah, old, but like just fucking pig dicks. <laughs> um, so I was gonna say this: if he gets a job at Exter, I say we just wet our beaks with like one percent. You know I mean, we can't be <laughs> yeah. greedy with like ten. No, 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 one, yeah. one. No, no. You know I mean? we, well, no, we shouldn't wet our beak. This is Jay's. Jay's. Doing. I know, but we're 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 not even gonna keep. It. We're gonna donate it. Okay, we're gonna to, donate to, par- to Planned Parenthood. To okay, for the plan, condoms. Yeah, yes. Planned Parenthood. Yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. Damn. I, I'm, I'm behind that. Yes. Yeah. See, it's just I'm charity, just over here and making deals, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. What are we talking about? We're beasts. That's the that, pursuit. We're, we're beasts oh, yeah, that yeah, give yeah. back. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Captive talking pursuit. About reptile. Which honestly, you know, we can slide right into the opening, very disturbing opening scene of this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, this is wait, just wait, wait, fucking wait. Disney so, Plus arbitration agreement. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> so. So. It's it's funny how apropos it is. Uh, so this never comes back. They never yeah, come yeah, back. It does. It's kind not of not at all. And I hate it. I oh, hate it so much. Cork, Cork is just uh, turns out he's a really sleazy sexual assault scumbag. Uh, but yeah. whatever. But but here's the thing. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing is that he had put it in the contract though. <laughs> he had advertised like I'm sleazy. So here yeah. it is. If you want it, if not, don't don't take it to the job. It was in the contract. It's a bit of the old Ferengi culture coming back into the show where there really wasn't that hardcore in it before. You know what I found really weird? She said, oh, here here it is in the Ferengi print as though that's a stand-in for fine print. But it's like, why? (laughs) How how does that work? (laughs) Maybe it's the Ferengi Ferengi text. Like, it's not in English. So it's in mm, Ferengi. Okay, sure, fine. So I think it's in Ferengi. Yeah, yeah I don't think yeah. so. I think it was. But then, oh, saying. so they would only leave certain terms in Ferengi only, and yeah. not yeah, so understand. So the, yeah, that might be it. Like That's she can't, bullshit, re- man. she couldn't that read it. Sound, that doesn't sound legal. Do you think they have contact lenses that you put on and everything gets translated? If it's in another like mm. language, yeah, like a Babel I mean, lens, yeah, yeah maybe. But, but, but contact lenses. You know? Apparently they have an implant for hearing languages, so oh, nice. that, that's why they can hear and communicate between. Do languages. they have an implant for fucking other species so you don't get like space herpes? Oh, that's that's a condom. That's that's what that is. So, oh, but you think they're <laughs> invisible in the future? Yeah, they're they're basically like like there's like just like it's like, like Sarah's thing. Like bear skin. Like, yeah. yeah, it's no, like bear skin. It has no, to be made from like the skin of the strongest <laughs> bears. God, please. No. <laughs> Sarah's I mean, not a bad, I, bad I, fucking. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely wouldn't pick that one in a lineup for sure. But <laughs> I mean, I just I just think that opening scene was so disturbing. It was like, oh, here's this lovely, bubbly criminal character, Quark. And then all of a sudden he's like a sexual assaulter. Well, and you're like, me, oh, here's Sarah, um, Sarah. Um, you, you, it, what? This is Deadwood, Sarah. Yeah, to yeah. me, this is makes, a Deadwood space. Like, like yeah. this guy's not a nice guy. <laughs> like, what's like, yeah, 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 to me, it, ma- it makes him <laughs> much more like Swearingen. This is like a Swearingen <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, okay. and while she was saying that, when, I, when she was saying that, I was imagining fucking Swearingen. And she's like, he's usually really jovial and he, he, he <laughs> likes other cultures. Uh, he doesn't call anybody cocksucker. He's definitely uh, not killed anyone for money. I mean, you know? but I, also that's Deadwood. This is fucking Star Trek this, in the this 90s. Is Deadwood, like, this is Deadwood in space. Like, this, is, this is what this is. Like, I don't know. He He's a gambler. He's like, he's a proprietor of a casino. A but I think that I think that opening, cold opening, is sort of a reminder that Quark yeah. is not necessarily a good guy. Apparently and, yeah, not. They're, they're just trying to make sure you remember that. But also, yeah. the rest of the episode spends like the entire runtime convincing you he's a good guy. Or also, th- yeah. this has nothing to do the B storyline, which was this, which was nothing, has yeah. nothing to do with the episode. It doesn't no. link up in in any. It's shape just a cold form. open. It's just which a complete makes you wonder why? It. Why did they do this cold open? Are they gonna? Are they going to? Uh, um, are they foreshadowing to a, I, an, an I don't event? think so. Reminder, I don't think so. Quark's a sleazebag. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. there going to be like a like an assault of some kind by yeah, him Sarah, in the future? Yeah, Sarah, assault. 
totally. I don't know. I, I, sure. I, 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 I mean, if it, if it, if it did, it's, it's quirk. He's a piece of shit, dude. Let him, let him be a piece of shit. I guess. Uh, yeah. Here's so, so here's the thing. This has nothing to do with any of the episodes. So I'm not yeah. even going to, I'm, I'm like, I'm not even going to address it because it's not part of the goddamn episode. They just well, tag it along because he needed to fill up three pages of fucking dialogue. I mean, basically, it's uh, there's a Davo girl who is like, yeah. Quark tricked me into letting him sexually, sexually assault me with this contract. Yeah. And uh, she's like a bar girl. And Cisco's like, lady. oh, I'll tell Odo to not let him do that. Yeah. That's it. Don't that's worry. Him. And yeah, then that's... and then they never go back to it again. They're like, And I was thinking like, oh, is this lizard going to get sexually assaulted? And <laughs> nothing, 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 dude. I yeah. thought like, oh, they're cunting him because they want to fuck him. No. Or like, would like Quark have tried to do a sexual assault and then um, the lizard gets involved and like beats him up and that causes an issue or something. Or I thought like yeah. he's going to try to assault the lizard and the lizard going to like bite him or something, you know? Yeah. yeah but yeah, no, yeah. nothing. It never, never came up. So like, fuck this three pages of fucking uh, <laughs> script. So the, the, the episode really is about this dude, this lizard boy. Mm-hmm. Um, and his name's, uh, what did you say, Sarah? His name was? Uh, twerk, not twerk. Twerk, twerk, yeah, <laughs> twerk. Uh, so uh, twerk. What is it? It's <laughs> twerk. You said it. Tonic. Yeah. Sure, no, sure, not tonic. Sure. Tonic. Toxic. Toxic. Tonk. tonk? Yeah. <laughs> what was it? I literally don't remember what it was. Was it? I don't Tron. know. To- Tron. Tonic. Tosk. Chronic. Tosk. So the chron- tosk. It's like you're saying task, but a really weird accent. Yeah. I have a tosk. Yeah. It, it's like you're British. A tosk. A tosk. That's how uh, I remember it. I have a tosk for you. Oh, there no. You go. Um, oh, it was Catherine you had to Hepburn. say it like, yeah. really, like really British. Transatlantic yeah. accent. British. Like. Um. So this dude fucking lizard man and i thought i was looking at fucking sarah palin you know what i mean uh, a lizard person uh, but no like that like that's that was that was really that was like really his his form you know like i thought like yeah, he yeah. was a yeah. shapeshifter or something you know yeah, yeah. no he's um, an actual lizard yeah, yeah he's just a lizard <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so fucking god damn we're gonna get mail for that dude we're going to get mail for that. From who? Who Alaska. is in Sarah Palin's Alaskans corner? Do. Nobody in Alaska likes Sarah Palin. They, they all hate her, her, dude. Okay, just a random aside. <laughs> the, the one thing that I always remember when Sarah Palin comes up is once I saw a Russian written like uh, English article about her calling her, quote, an ignorant bag of hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's and crazy. that was the funniest nice. description I've ever seen. It's accurate. I love it. She's mostly water in hair. Um, <laughs> a bag of water in hair. Um, Ugly so- bags of mostly hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, so, so this dude, uh, he's coming in hot out of the hole. If you know what I mean, right? Uh, the black right. hole, I mean. Yeah. And he comes out, and uh, Miles O'Brien is like, "Hey, buddy, slow down! Your ship's about to get destroyed." And he's like, "He's in a fucking hurry. He's like, his ship's falling apart." And he's like, "I gotta get out of here. Where, where the fuck am I?" And he's like. They're like, where, where did you come? Where do you, where do you want to go? You called us, buddy. What what, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. (laughs) And he's like, oh, I followed a little ship and I just like zipped over here. And they tell him like, oh, you went through a wormhole. It's like, you know, X amount of fucking uh, light years away. You're in a brand new quadrant. You're 90,000 light years away. Yeah. You're like, we, we, we just got 4k players over here. What, what are you guys dealing with over there? Yeah. Are you guys, Um, are you guys still working with physical media? We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were entering the streaming age. Did Disney take over everything and they, they're just executing people in the streets? Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Do you guys still have arbitration clauses over there? We're we're trying to figure that out. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, if you guys haven't gotten Disney Plus over there, don't fucking sign up. I mean, up this for hunt it. is kind of Please an arbitration don't sign clause, up for Disney Plus. right? <laughs> yeah, this so, hunt is essentially him agreeing to some shit that should not have been agreed. Yeah. To. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this all started because Tosk yeah. agreed to its trial subscription of Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. The most honorable thing he's like he goes the most I did the most honorable thing I could have done, which was sign up for a trial of Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now I'm in the run <laughs> from their goddamn lawyers. <laughs> Sorry, so, that's they're rules. just lawyers. These are just Disney <laughs> lawyers chasing him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why they're not that good at shooting or like fighting because <laughs> they're, they're not trained for this. 
<laughs> they're just trying to serve him a fucking a subpoena. They're, they're just, just trying to shoot a subpoena at him. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> so, so the Disney lawyers. No, we don't get the Disney lawyers yet. So, um, so he, he's he's his ship's falling apart, and they're like, "Hey, calm down, like land, and we'll fix you." And he's like, "No, I can't leave the ship." And he's about to just die with the ship. Basically. I'd rather die. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather die with this. I can't leave the ship. Yeah, yeah. And basically, they 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 tractor beam him, and then they like tell him to shut down the engine, and they're like, "We'll help you. We'll fix your." your car dude or your ship whatever yeah. and he's like all right, all right whatever and he so he, he shuts the engine down and yeah. he comes in and and, and he's he a goddamn and, predator and miles he's gains his predator. trust miles gains his trust because yeah. he says he keeps calling him friend yeah, yeah. and also uh he t- well the thing he tells him is going to work which is stabilizing i don't like this by the way the oh, friend you don't. No, I don't like it either. Oh. I don't it's like when, like it either. When, you, when you have a really white dude and, and he's and he's like running into some like people that hey, buddy. N- know. And he's like, oh, amigo. Yes, that's what it like feels the, like. Yeah. yeah, or if it's Russian, it's like, oh, hey, comrade, it's all uh, good here. Yeah, uh, mon frere. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel, that's exactly what it, it feels, feels like. It feels weird, dude. I don't like it. But anyway, he's like, friend, um, we're going to fix your ship. And he shows up and he, he can't find him. So he starts like saying, saying like kind of like calling out like what he's doing is like, yeah, is this a flux capacitor? Seems like this is a flux capacitor, blah, blah, blah. And then mm-hmm. the fucking lizard appears. He's got predator powers. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. This guy's like the predator's cousin. Not quite Aww. fully. Not the mandibles. He's done. Got, he doesn't get the mandibles yet. You know, these writers have played. Well, despite Mortal having Kombat. predator powers, he's prey. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. No, well, yeah. if you see the movie Prey, eh? oh, oh, oh. Ah. yeah. And to be honest, the, the predator is not a predator. He's more of a hunter. Mm, that's true. But yeah, you know, so. it, should, it, it doesn't sound like, cool when you say the hunter. It sounds you know, hunter sounds cool. That could be a cool movie title. The predator hunter. sounds better though. Hunters, hunter, predators. Yeah. But that's yeah. but now that's misconstrued with like sexual predators. So no, no. you know, now, now, <laughs> if it bleeds, if it bleeds, we can kill them. It, but now then people might think if it bleeds, we can fuck it, which is much worse. We don't. No, no, no one thinks that. No one would think that. <laughs> oh no, I mean, these predators are. The show was called to catch a predator. Okay, <laughs> to catch a predator. Yeah. Yes. Imagine if they're catching predators, like actual like. <laughs> It was actually a show about yeah. trying to catch like it's, it's predators. Yeah. He's like, ah, I was in the water. <laughs> Killed my friend Billy. Uh, uh, he's just catching he's like, as many as he can. He's like, are you season. here to meet yeah. our old friend Billy? Take a seat. Like, All yeah. of the take a seat. <laughs> take a seat. Take a, se- take a seat. Let's talk. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Cookies and milk uh, in your hand and classic all that. Dan. Like, uh, why don't you take a seat over there? <laughs> oh wait, can't Dan do it? Dan can he just do did it. Right? He's, He's doing it. it. He, he just did it. Oh. Sorry, like it comes and goes. It takes yeah. me a, a second to get to but, it. But Arnold has booby trapped the chair with spikes, so the moment this predator sits yeah. down, he gets crushed by spikes. If, if Dan takes those Wise products, he's gonna be fucking <laughs> crackling like the freaking predator, dude. Um, so here we go, guys. Oh, he did it. Uh, <laughs> We're so, all like patiently so, waiting. <laughs> so he, he he shows up and he appears and he's like, oh, and he basically like they kind of become friends. He's kind of like learning. That this is a whole new people that he's that he's meeting, and he's like, oh, uh, you guys you know? sleep? Yeah, what he's, a he's bunch like, of he's pussies. like, he's like, he, this, <laughs> this predator basically sleeps fifteen minutes. What is it, eleven or fifteen? Seventeen 16? minutes. Uh, uh, Seventeen six, minutes. Yeah, under yeah. twenty. Yeah, for the whole night, and he's and then and then. Uh, uh o'brien's like oh i i need like eight or i'm fucking cranky and then he's like oh here's a bar this is where we come to relax and he's like you guys waste so much fucking time <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah he's like it's true you, it's true he's like, and the first guys, thing i thought wanna... <laughs> honestly uh-huh. was this guy's a fucking disney employee dude <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no breaks, no fucking. <laughs> or as an Amazon employee, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. It's like R. you guys R. don't pee in a bottle. What? Do you yeah. guys waste you guys time eat? going to the bathroom? Well, it's funny because he tells him. He tells him. More. He tells yeah. him. Do you guys? He's like, you guys eat. And he's like, I have all the the food I need inside me. And yeah. it's like, yep, that checks out. Like Amazon employee. <laughs> uh, he's like, I have to smuggle my lunch, or else they, I can't eat. Um, <laughs> And so basically they kind of become friends and they teach he teaches about the bar and like quirk even like it like is cool with him a little bit. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Well, so, Quark asks him like, do you want to use the hollow suite? Yeah. And then he's well, like, that's you can cool him. You can go on a great adventure. And then he goes, 
actually I'm Tosk. I'm gone. The greatest adventure of them all. Yeah. And then, I'm high on life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Quark's like, Oh, well, I envy you then. And like, yeah. oh, damn. <laughs> that <Yeah>. sounds cool. <laughs> He's uh, like, what, what, how about this guy's having? Um, <laughs> and so these other predators show up, mm-hmm. but these predators have the masks on. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, they have like these weird helmets yeah. on. Because they're, Dis- they're Disney lawyers. They're Cylon. Uh, yeah. They look yeah. a bit like dollar store ant men <laughs> yeah well w- once you you peel the skin skin off of a disney lawyer they look like lizards. <laughs> um so um god damn it we're gonna get a fucking letter from disney dude disney's now we're on yeah. disney's shit list yeah gonna, but who um, isn't who isn't on disney's shit list yeah it's true dude. yeah mm. i mean i don't know god knows what they had on robert Downey jr they brought him back <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. They're like, um, we're going to make you get rehooked on cocaine against your yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, no. like, oh, they shot him up with heroin. Unless dude. you come back to play Dr. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, all right, all right. Or um, they're so, like, they, they took him out to dinner and they're like, so that dinner you just ate was full of cocaine. We have the antidote for rehab right here. But <laughs> the antidote uh, for rehab. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's the rehab. Story, it's, the, it's that rehab in this little vial here. Uh, oh but, my God. Uh, it's a tiny little rehab facility. Yeah. Dis- Disney already, Disney already uh, created that. Their Imagineers created a portable rehab thing. <laughs> <laughs> created a virtual Betty Ford Center. <laughs> You have like like nanobites, nano robots that like fix yeah, you from the inside. Disney nanobots created by the Imagineers. <laughs> they eat the, they eat the cocaine. Uh, anyway, so this fucking these predators show up and they're like, "Hey, you got to turn in this guy." So you find out that this dude is being hunted, and they're like, "Well, we can't give him to you." And he, it's a very and elaborate yeah. scheme. Yeah. Like, there's a lot so, to explain. What's yeah, going so on? Basically, yeah. <laughs> what it breaks down to is the twerkers or tonks, as they're called by some. <laughs> Tosks, Tosks, sorry. Uh, <laughs> say, you have to say it with the accent. Tosks. Tosks. Well, Tosks. It's not like that's their species. Only one guy is Tosk. Is really? it? Really? I thought he says all he says you are Tosk now too. Yeah, well, I, uh, I thought he. I thought Miles became Tosk because he engaged in actions that made him prey as well. No, no. I think they're well, all called Tosk. I thought I think, all yeah. the prey were Tosk and the hunters were something else. They're oh, the hunters predators. are something else. Yeah. I'm with Dan. Yeah. I I think that's just what they called the. The like, one they're hunting. Oh, see, I thought that, no, for me, I'm with Marvin. I think that's their species. Well, if you go to a memory alpha, it says Tosk was a Tosk who lived during the 24th century. So God damn that's it. not very helpful. No, that, no, I hate that. I hate that. No, that, that, I, I don't like that. I'm going to count it as a win for us. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a sort of shit that's like Endor is both a moon and the planet. <laughs> true that's short sure as shit's true oh, <laughs> or so the Torellians. yeah the, dude. <laughs> yeah fucking Torellians. also i had a thought though when the, when the disney lawyers showed up and yeah. they were <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> they were true the true identity lizard yeah, they people were, they were going after this poor lady's family toss yeah it's like this is Wh- pathetic you've been yeah. captured <laughs> uh, like, have you ever thought to yourself, like, the more elaborate and hard something is to explain, it's more than likely a lie? Like, I felt part of me was kind of thinking, like, why do we believe these people? They're like, yeah, yeah, uh, we're we're playing this game and we're hunting him. And I'm just like, they just kept kind of breezing over the details of, like, what exactly happens. And it just felt very muddled. And the whole time I was watching it, I'm just like is anybody fact checking these people? Like, are they just I think, like I guess making the it easy, up? Maybe the easy thing to like, that gets people to buy it, to go along with it is the fact that the prey Tosk himself is yeah. not resisting yeah. or contradicting anything that the hunters are saying. I was about to say, he's Tosk, just corroborating every step fact, of the way. Yeah. In fact, he's, he's saying yes. And he's like, yeah, yes, to- and. Yeah, Tosk himself is saying, actually, yes, I yeah. did fail. Yeah. Actually, I need to go back. And he, I no, no, at no point is he like, Oh, they're lying dude. this. He's got yeah, yeah. pieces of shit. They're Disney know. lawyers and those they'll, they'll fucking add anything to it. I contract. mean, did they have a thing where, you know, did he feel you know, under pressure, you know, how how lawyers get you to say stuff when you, you know, like they're looking at you. I don't know. It just felt weird. It felt crazy hard to explain. I guess with TNG, I guess when we was watching this with Marvin, we were kind of like thinking, obviously comparing to TNG, where like if this happened in TNG, there would be a whole like data, tell me all about the Tosk. 
and what their culture is like and computer tell me about this species and there's none of that not if, not if no but not if they, they not if it was a, a, a the first time they're running into the species no no they, i think what she means know. i think it's more of like but so in I tng you have kind of the cheat codes of data yeah. and the computer yeah and they are both capable of like analyzing shit super fast and being uh-huh. able to like figure things out super fast. And also Deanne is a cheat code. Yeah. And yeah. I would be able to go up to them saying, yeah, yeah, he's telling the but truth. They don't use nearly enough. There's yeah. like yeah, 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 all yeah. sorts of different ways to like verify and check things in TNG that they do in the background. But like here, it feels more like if I were to be dumped on a space station with like me and my friends and my coworkers, we'd be like, oh, okay, uh, this is probably how I'd handle this, I guess. Like, I don't have, like, a cheat code or, like, something well, to like ask. Car- or, like, uh, w- w- what do you mean cheat code? What do you, what do you, what do like, you mean? Like, I meant, like, as in asking data or the computer. Like, give me oh, more information oh, oh, okay. but, about but, this. But, like, but also, like, this is this is a species that, they're, that the Federation is meeting for the first time, period. No, I mean, like, but, but like, they, TNG... The crew. They often data, build in stuff. Da- like, data is one of the tools that could like hyper analyze. Oh, no, 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 I understand that, but but I'm just giving you I'm just giving you like the the reason why like there's no info on these fools. I guess uh, what right. I'm saying is that like I'm just so used to TNG. Like they have multiple ways of like verifying and double check. Like I always feel like Picard is always like he's always like a little suspicious of things, and he always has like a little background. Like he'll assign somebody like, hey, you should go, you should go oh. check this out on the background and see if this is really what it is. Oh, and like, I disagree with you completely. The, really? the, those fuckers are like trusting a, 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 of yeah, everybody. They do that. <laughs> yeah. They're like, no, you were just possessed by the fucking Borg. Come on in, buddy. Worf would take suggest back to do that. And then Picard would shut him down. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I just feel like it's just. And you know what Cisco did? Are we watching the same show? What Cisco did? He asked Miles, "Hey, find out what's what's uh, yeah. what's troubling this guy." Like yeah. he actually yeah. asked for like recon. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, and 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 one could argue that Miles found out more information than Deanna ever could, even there. Like, yeah, watch, you know, she could read. Yeah, their minds I, I think I think just the general idea is that TNG, and just from a narrative storytelling perspective, they have characters and. Uh, just general elements that allow them to kind of like let them cheat the story a bit. Oh, something's going really wrong. Well, data is both really smart, really fast and really strong. He can do lots of things that can help solve the situation and he's not human. So nothing affects or it. the computer or Deanna or whoever. Or Beverly doesn't know how to figure out if this thing is life. She'll just ask the computer, is this life or Hey, we don't know how they're feeling. Deanna, can you just tell us how they're feeling? Whereas narratively, the construction of Deep Space Nine, they don't have those crutches to use. So I feel like DS9 at least has a computer. You have a computer at any place in time. You can just say computer. They don't use it that way, though. And doesn't seem as Tosk uses it in that way. He says, computer, show me DS9. Show me where the weapons are. Show me where, like, all sorts of shit is. That's just a map, though. That's I meant, like, they're not asking computer, pull me up, like, using it like a Google. You know, like, they don't really. I don't think they use it that often like that. Though. Like I feel like TNG uses the computer as like another form of like data to give them historical yeah, they, they, context, they it, yeah, they culture, done it times, yeah. this and that. Like give yeah. me the background he, he, on this species does, and this planet. I, I, and, and I agree with you, but but the thing is that he doesn't do that when he doesn't know something new. When he when something's new, he and doesn't you know. know what I'll agree with Ricardo on this basic point. Like the the circumstances of like this story at least yeah. are such that we have no choice but to operate yeah. in this manner. Yeah. Also, I was just thinking while you were talking, like you showing up to the station, and then they're like, well, what the fuck, dude? Like uh, you're showing up to t- an alien station, not a human station, right? You show up to an alien station, and and they're like, oh, what the fuck, dude? Who are you? And you're like, I'm a human. It's like that's wild, dude. So okay, so w- what's your planet like? And you're like, oh, you know, like uh, it's it's uh, mostly water, and then there's like land, and then like, and like but what do you do when like every day? Are you like a farmer? And he's like, no, 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 I, I go to work. What is work? Oh, you know, <laughs> this place I fucking really hate. And then I go for eight hours and I just I get there and I'm fucking angry and I'm angry <laughs> throughout the day. And then I go out for to eat for an hour and then I'm angry for another four hours and then I go home. And he's like, but why do you go to this place you hate? Oh, because I got to pay rent. He's <laughs> like, wait a minute. You pay to live on your world? 
Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, and then I got to pay for food. He's like, wait a minute. So you don't just pick your food like on from trees and stuff and like gather. Like, no, there, no, no. No. We pay other, we pay immigrants to do that labor. <laughs> uh, we have to pay for water too, but doesn't water just fall? Didn't you just say your planet is it's mostly 70% water. water and you have to pay for it? Yes. Yes, and we do. Yeah. Doesn't it fall that, from the sky a, for free? That's, yes. That's a sketch story. <laughs> to them, you think they're going to believe you? They're like, oh, this guy is, this doesn't explain it. Like yeah, it's so complicated <laughs> yeah. and full of rules. It sounds kind of <laughs> sus to me. So. Well, like, you know what? Let me tell you about J.D. Vance. He fucks yep. the couch, okay? And like, you know, let me explain that. And that's that's really hard to explain, I think. So, you got, you guys vote for a president? Why would you uh, need a president? Uh, he's like, he's like, um, here's the thing. Uh, they don't know the species, so they have to take their word for it. But again, what Marvin said, the lizard, uh, the the Tonker, Tosker, uh, he, Tosk. he he doesn't disagree with the story. So he agrees that. And then he even like, he like adds more much. to it. He just yeah. says the same thing. Well, well he adds more to it. He's like. He's also under an oath of silence. Yeah. Until yeah. until the game is over, then he was yeah. willing to explain more yeah. of right. what's going on. But so but basically, do, like, like he, he was, uh, like, his species seems like they're bred to be hunted, and that's an honor. Because he, he even says, like, if I don't do this, I'd rather die. Like, he w- he was willing to die on the ship than get he said, let, because, he said, let me die with honor, he kept yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, this yeah. is kind of a Klingon episode. Yeah, yeah. In a way. Yeah. What yeah. I thought was pretty badass is when, the, when they're, uh, this. okay, first of all, they're the, the hunters are very strong they could just shut down shields and they're just yeah, absorbing however. phaser fire into their like little yeah. arm thingies yeah yeah they're they, yeah like fucking like uh knights of the zodiac style dragon guy who could just absorb shit with they his should, arm they, they should have given the gun to, to miles o'brien as a gift but what i did really like mm-hmm. was like when they transported onto like the, predator the, the promenade everyone just showed up and Cisco was immediately like, "Yeah, pull, everyone pull out your phasers." Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they just I mean, had like, an old. This is a clear yeah. threat. It, it, yeah. if, if it was Picard, he'd be like, "Oh, let's, let's talk. Let's talk it out, boys." Uh, and, Cisco and was this like, guy was it. like, "This guy's like, start blasting, and then we'll fucking <laughs> we're gonna have sort him out. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have an old we're gonna have an old fashioned like Western style showdown." You know, and Cisco like, even <laughs> did it while also keeping to Picard's kind of standard, where it's like, "All right, let him get a good look at us. Now yeah. hit the shields." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. like let him scan us. And then we're gonna do what we need to do yeah. to like protect it's ourselves. Like, I think he just has better timing. Yeah, I think yeah. Picard's just <laughs> slow. Timing. I think Picard's just slow to yeah. say put up shields. Uh, maybe yes. his, yeah. his cognitive health is, is, is <laughs> failing. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't. Maybe maybe Riker should take over the ship. You know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, R- Riker's anyway. like, Captain, should we put up shields now? It's like, right, right, right. Yeah, let's yeah, do it. we should, we should, we should. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so anyway. Uh, so basically Cisco's like, we can't intervene. Cause you know, that, that, the really pesky fucking prime directive. Although and he so, was willing to fight them. He did yeah. say, Hey, you are not allowed to just take a captive off my ship. And if you attempt yeah. to do so, I'm yeah. going to fire on your ship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll Cisco, Cisco also had a really big issue with like what we were talking about in the beginning of the podcast, which is like hunting other yes yeah hunting your species for sport when he didn't quite understand their cultural significance around yeah yeah. doing so he was kind of like i can't allow you to just like fucking hunt another person like that's fucking crazy yeah like he tries to like wrangle it within his own jurisdiction and say like when you're on my station you know like you're gonna follow mine there's like and they say wait wait, now just uh, next time we won't take the hunt here it's gonna be fine. Yeah, that yeah. our bad, our bad, yeah, our yeah, fault. Like, yeah. We, not, yeah, we we don't mind. We went do out that. of bounds and into your yard. We're sorry. We're gonna take our ball. <laughs> we're gonna take our toss yeah. back. And we're gonna <laughs> not play with him anymore near you. It's gonna be fine. And to be fair, they aren't going to take him back to kill him. They're going to take him back to do what's apparently in their society much worse, which is to have children make fun of him in public. Shame. <laughs> yeah. Children, yeah. children laugh at you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's like what happens to the to the all stars in Space Jam if they lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. So, so it isn't even that bad. Like, like, because because the because you'll probably die in battle. You know what I mean? And like, it's an honorable death to them. So, and then the more I think about it, the more that makes sense. And like, why, why, why are we judging them? Do you know? Like if we wouldn't like, again, if we were with the aliens and they're like, 
So what do you do for fun? It's like sometimes I like to go to like a buffet and eat. What's a buffet? Well, it's really it's a place where like I go and eat a lot of food and I try <laughs> to beat the price. <laughs> yeah. I try to eat more than what they're charging me. And he's yeah. like, but don't doesn't your doesn't well, absolutely your, doesn't That's your world point. have doesn't your world have like unhoused people that like are really hungry and all like you're showing me that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, let me tell you about this buffet. I'm uh, talking about me eating right now. I'm talking <laughs> about me eating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the snow crab legs for me. And do you know yeah. what we do this. with all the food that we don't want? We just throw it in the we trash. We just throw it in the trash. Yeah, we yeah. fucking throw it away. Why, yeah, why can't yeah. you give it to the people who need Oh, we're not allowed no, to. There could be a lawsuit. No, there could be a lawsuit. Yeah. I mean, that could be a lawsuit. That'd be pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. They have to pay for it. Yeah. 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 Uh, so this hunting thing is not uh, that crazy to me. They might get sick and sue us. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, oh so um, I think that. Um, so anyway, we get to so sorry. I'm backtracking a bit. So yeah. then Cisco says, "Well, we could help him if he seeks if he says he wants to seek asylum, right?" Mm-hmm. So uh, Miles O'Brien tries to go get him to 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 say it, but he's like, "No, that's not honorable. Like, I this is a, I wouldn't be running anymore. I'd just be like giving up, basically." Which is yeah, worse than going back. Great- he he's like, I'd rather go back to the and be humiliated than fucking seek asylum from you guys, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. everything is every fate is worse than the last. Yeah. So <laughs> not so just then, death, it's humiliation. But worse than like, humiliation, it's hiding. There's a, there's a deleted oh. scene where he's like, My, Miles is like, Can I at least offer you th- this corned beef sandwich to eat? And he's like, eating no. the sandwich <laughs> would be the greatest humiliation of my life. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and so you know what's so funny is that now I guess I could see now how that first scene makes sense now. Oh, because really? basically Miles O'Brien's like, oh, it's all about skirting the rules. You know what I mean, mm. and like he's basically mm. saying they don't know what our fine print is. We can yeah. kind of make whatever our fine print is. And we don't know what their fine print is either. Yeah, exactly. We, we, we can just pretend we didn't oh, know. Oh, God, yeah, did we figure yeah. it out? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I figured it out the, lo- the long way. And so so anyway, <laughs> so he's like, so uh, Miles O'Brien's like, well, what I'll do is, and then so he basically helps him escape, but not to escape, but to keep the hunt going. You know what I mean, uh, and so the by this time the ship's fixed and he gets him to the to the ship and the predators show up to fight, aka the Disney lords, and he fucking and the 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 twerker fucking blasts them, dude. Yeah, one he, shot, all three kills him, and he turns out to be an extremely good fighter. Yeah, like he's a good he, jumper. He, he jumps like crazy, super yeah. strong. So yeah, yeah. he's like out- he's like Blanca. <laughs> yeah, bit. he's like <laughs> Street he, Fighter. He, he Blanca I mean, balls. He's them. reptile yeah. first and yeah. foremost, but he's yeah. also Blanca. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that He's proves green, that dude. that he could have been a very violent and yeah. strong person towards DS Nine crew, but that wasn't his point. The point was he's only going to do that to the hunters. Yeah, so. he's only there for the ritual, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's allowed customs. to cheat, though. Well, no, they're resuming the hunt. Yeah, they're resuming no, the hunt. No, but Miles helped him get an upper leg. That's fair game within the parameters yeah, of the hunt, though. Yeah, Is yeah, it? Yeah, you're yeah. yeah. he allowed to get like outside yeah, help. They, they said they said earlier, but when they were about to capture him, they said, "Oh, you manipulate." this people into helping you. Yeah, That's, yeah. we don't yeah, know how yeah. you got the yeah. help of these people which while is, maintaining your oath of silence. Yeah, which is like actually considered uh, cool. So but, you can get people. But to he help did you. it to hide. Which they found shameful. Yeah, like if they did it to like fight. He they they would have thought that's really cool, and that's why when he starts helping him, when Miles starts helping Tosk escape, <laughs> yeah. the one hunter goes. The hunt has resumed. They don't say something's yeah. wrong. Yeah, they say yeah. They don't they, they don't say like fuck these dudes. We're gonna fuck them up. They, no, they're like oh, they're they're excited, dude. They're whole yeah. Horned they up, were dude. into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're mm-hmm. like, oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Hmm. And uh, yeah, another like thing, they kept the camera above the waist yeah. for a reason. From there on, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fucking mm-hmm. hard as shit, dude. Mm-hmm. And and then they're like, they're like, yeah. If he would have stayed in Secret Asylum, he would have been shamed, just like if he used those bear condoms. And that lady, <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> shames you. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's right. exactly the same Brought situation. It back around. Yep. Yeah. Full yeah. circle. Full circle. So um so then he he's he's out and he says he says you you, you are grouped, basically. He says you are a <laughs> tosk. Yeah. Uh and basically they're homies and, and like the you know and, and, he, like, and he's like, and he's, like it? he's like, You should roll with me. And yeah. he's like, nah, dude, I got <laughs> a like wife, a, bro. Like a, no yeah. way, dude. I got uh, a wife and kid yeah. Yeah. who yeah, we dude. still haven't seen at all for a little bit now. So it's fine though. I love what Miles says. Sure. Like, she's busy. No, you just reminded me this is the part that made me laugh a lot is when Miles at some point in the episodes, you know what? I think I kind of adopted him. 
And I'm like, you have a daughter. You never see her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and so this guy goes, and the, the the hunters are fucking excited. They're all horned up for this. Well, hunt he again. kills three of them, right? Three of them well, are no, dead. No, I, I think I think they, they they were just stunned. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought they were dead. No, nah, uh, I think they were just stunned. It's ambiguous. Yeah, it seemed like they were dead. Yeah. Either way, the hunt is on. They yeah, love yeah. it. Everyone's yeah. having fun. Everyone's cheering. They're they're betting. I bet you Cisco's like, ah, I don't think he's gonna make it. Cork starting to be- put bets yeah, on them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we figured out the beginning how it links up. It it's all's well that ends well. I'm gonna give this fucking this one i was gonna give it a nine dude wow nine and a half, nine oh. and a half for me nine and oh a half. my god i was not expecting that wow i, I like lizards mm-hmm. oh. i love lizard stories mm-hmm. um i like predators this like is lizard everything people yeah i like lizard people i like i hate i hate lizard people which are the <laughs> disney lawyers um <laughs> this has everything i love and hate all in one mm. fucking episode. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. I'll give it an eight. And the scene, the scene made sense now in the beginning. I so. guess you, you made it, you, you started we took the it all long road. I yeah. manipulated it to work for me. It's all in the fine print. Wow. Babies. 9.5. That's crazy. Yeah. I guess another way you could potentially it was fun. tie the it was fun. Yeah. one potential way you could also tie in the beginning scene is that like the, the parameters of like the rules of how the game is played. were not, all apparent established to, to yeah. miles yeah like miles didn't know what the actual terms of the game were until oh, yeah until he, didn't he know was he told get, later yeah they're like they, these guys can grope you dude that too is um, a bit of a stretch but <clears throat> yeah so another thing yeah, I, 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 I i never want sorry i i gotta go back after dan's score eight, he gave it an eight mm-hmm. um i'm gonna go back just a little bit i forgot to talk about this part where which is oh. when cisco figures out that that o'brien's helping him What's oh yeah, the two thousand. Yeah, the he tells Odo to go after him. And yeah, then he's, he says, he's like, he's like, go stop him, and he's like, uh, not, not too fast, you know. Hey, and no, 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 gets I, it, and I'm gets so it. glad you brought it up because that was the other part of the episode that made yeah. me crack up because it reminded me of the Simpsons where where Herman tells Homer not so fast. And Homer <laughs> goes okay, <laughs> and he just steps slower and slower, uh, and that's how it was. He like. <laughs> Like the the deputy the the constable like really started slow. He's like, oh, are you? <laughs> and he went to the lift. I really also do like the ending where, like, as he was helping Tosk, Miles was like, "If I know my commander, he's going to be okay with what I'm doing." And then in the final scene, Cisco is chewing him out like he's supposed to. Yeah. But then yeah. Miles points out, "You guys actually could have technically stopped us at any moment in those hallways." And Cisco just goes, "Well." I guess we missed that one. And then, you know, and Miles then knows. Sitcom yeah. smile at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a pretty classic procedural chew out, but you did good. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He, they, they, cut, they cut a scene probably where he went, oh, oh, Brian. And then the, the window shattered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's the like, doors hey. closed too hard. Yeah. yeah. Love, yeah. They fucking love like, to do that. That's in it, this Brian. Show. Turn in yeah. your phaser and your calm badge now. <laughs> and he's like, they, I lost my calm badge. They do that a lot in, this, in DS9, these like little comical, high note endings where it's like oh you got me that's you know? my like, o'brien that's yeah. yeah it's it's been happening a lot and it's it's cute for sure but what's your score sarah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with a nine um oh, i think wow. i really liked uh, yeah this episode was fantastic it was great exciting fun uh the, just to be clear this lizard person is not the same gecko that Jordy was No no that's no. Not these are different yeah. lizard yeah. people. Yeah, that, was a lizard. Lizard. that was a gecko lizard. That was but the they did have similar powers in that they were able to like be invisible and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what kind of made me think about it. I was like, "Oh, is this the same like weird It's a lot of lizard gecko people in Star Trek, yeah. a lot of predators. Yeah. yeah it kind of yeah. it made it, me remember they that. They all co- um, come from the same, you know, they derive from the same predator. I really also liked Odo in this episode. Like, I don't know. Yeah. He's just kind of like. He's he kinda, remains badass. I like him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just generally yeah. speaking, I'm, I'm a fan of Odo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This episode made me like him even more. I don't know. Cause he's just like, yeah, this is just how I do things. And I just like the way he carries himself. I, I, I just, I Dude. love that. He's like, no one, no one is going to take someone out of my brig on my watch. And like, yeah. He's, yeah. And, but he's he doesn't like, use a phaser. So he's just like yeah. punching people. Yeah. He's like, well, oh, he's, yeah. he's probably making his, his thing like really like, like a, like a slap thing, you know, whack, 
you know? So that's one thing I was, I wish they could have done, but they couldn't for budget reasons. I yeah. was hoping he used like his liquid powers to like kind of like- transmorphic punching, be- punching or, gloves. Or and... like to like, like swiftly move across the room, like a, like a gush oh, of water yeah. or something, right? Or like, when they whoosh. punch him, it, it goes through. Point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Venom like, in Marvel vs. Yeah. Capcom. Yeah, Boink. or like like Ink in Batman Beyond. You know, the way oh, she yeah. fights, yeah. Like she just goes whoosh, and or, like dude, slaps. You know, like, dude, he goes into somebody's mouth and into the lungs and kills. Just them. like Link. Yeah, Ink too. Yeah, Ink would yeah, also Ink do that. Nearly did that to Terry in Batman Beyond. It was yeah, really so gruesome should, and brutal. Should. It's just you know I know why they can't. It, it's, that's very probably very difficult to do. And also yeah. they've every time they've shown Odo morph, it's been like slow. He, I don't yeah, think he can do it super slow. fast. Yeah, um, He's this like time he was a painting. He was a painting this time, so that was fun. Yeah. Uh, Two weeks. Oh, it was a painting. Yeah. Um, I will give it an eight. Uh, <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. It's kind of like a, Disney. <laughs> uh, I, I do. I enjoy the entire general premise of it. I do like one thing I've been really enjoying is that they've been DS9 in particular has been very methodical about giving each character their time to shine and develop. So a season pr- series premiere starts off developing Cisco, right? Mm-hmm. Then you have past prologue to develop Kira. Then you have a man alone to develop Odo. Then you have Babel that develops Quark. And oh, now you man. have what's this called? Captive Pursuit to develop Miles O'Brien. I've been really enjoying that they're all kind of each getting their own episode to kind of develop their character. While in each of those episodes, all the other characters still have something to do meaningfully. So that's yeah. that's been interesting. So if, if we're following that pattern, the next episode should either be about Bashir or Dax. And all right. We'll see. I don't I don't remember to be honest, but that should follow. I'm ready Kiko. for Kiko. I'm ready for some worm backstory. It might be interesting to finally know more about because right now we don't ver- know that much about Dax. Yeah, there's, there's a lot turns left out, to explore with Dax. Turns out he was Big Worm from Friday in one of his past lives. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I think that that was a fun episode. Yeah. It was Captive fun. Pur- yeah. Another Captive- great another great episode. Really like it. Good job, it. Deep Space Nine. So far yeah, you've been deep- oh, uh I will also like just uh take a quick moment to note that we are also still seeing little notes of like hints at displeasure um in Miles's home life. Because Quark, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like r- just referenced, you know, a, li- a yeah, little lady and Miles got all really like mad at him and was like, You shut the fuck up about my family, yeah, 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 yeah. shut your pie hole. And yeah. this is also the first time I think in the series Miles unfurled his, his sleeves finally, he yeah. had them, oh, yeah, furled up the whole time. I thought he, until- had, he had a bunch of tats. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Reminded right. me at work, I always have my sleeves permanently rolled up, yeah, ready to punch. That's yeah, you. dude. Just to uh, all right. Ready to punch some lizard people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, captive pursuit. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, if you liked, oh, yeah. if you liked it, uh, you could give us a comment or a review or a rating wherever you are on YouTube. Oh, yeah, or please leave us a review. Apple I think Podcasts, they're so fun. Spotify, etc. Wait, 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 wait hold to. on. No, wait, hold, I'm sorry. I just want to ask one last question because I did have it down in my notes. Oh, Cisco did ask Miles directly, "What the hell am I supposed to put in my report?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah, did. yeah. What does he put down his report? <laughs> I don't know. I left that away. scene thinking I left that scene thinking he's gonna have to be really fucking creative with this report. Yeah. He got away. The, 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 this is a crazy first encounter. He's like, he, was a she- he was he was a he was a nightcrawler person. No, oh, he but- he was a lizard yeah. guy. He He's a lizard guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He disappeared. Yeah, they could so. turn invisible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he tried to sell me insurance and he left. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and also, uh, if you guys would like to uh, support the, the podcast and or the channel more specifically, you can go to YouTube, our YouTube channel, Newbie Star Trek, and you can join the channel. That'd be cool. Joining the channel gets you early access to new episodes, and it also gives you YouTube ad-free versions of those episodes, so you can just watch our animated versions talking without having to worry about ads. And uh, we're gonna we're thinking about adding more perks down the line, more perks down the line in terms of that. And you can also check out our merch store at fugitiveframes.store. I was really stupid and I forgot to actually mention the URL last episode. So the merch store is at fugitiveframes.store. We currently have two t-shirts up. You can check it out for yourself. Uh, and we're planning to put up some more things not so long from now, fairly shortly. It'll be going up. And also, I am going to read another email this week. Uh, if you guys would like to send us an email, you can always email us at oh contact. My God, dude. 
<laughs> contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. I'm reading it specifically because it's Johnny, our old friend who has been cataloging all of our ratings. Uh, he doesn't hey, have a... Hey, ah, Johnny. Yeah. Hey, what's up? He doesn't okay. have a new catalog rating for us this week, but he just sent an okay. update, so I figured we should read it. So, greetings, commanders. I hope you've been well. I've just started catching up again. I finished season six, episode eight, and I've started episode nine. It's been a crazy summer. My workplace is closed and renovated locations, so we had to move twice. My eight-year-old has a no, big- Johnny. Don't fucking mention moving to me okay, right now. <laughs> like I'm, I'm in the middle of moving right now, and I want to fucking kill myself. So I, I feel you on that. I can't uh, my- imagine doing it twice. <laughs> My eight-year-old has a busy schedule with camp and sports. I see you've started DS9. Congratulations. I hope you're still finishing TNG. Kudos to you for attacking on several fronts at once. Go newbies. Anyway, I just want to say hello, let you know your TNG ratings reporter is still here. I hope you haven't grown past me yet. I wanted to share something humorous relating to the beginning of episode nine. You were talking about seeing something young that perhaps you shouldn't have. I have three, one light and two dark, uh, dark. Uh, I saw Risky Business when it came out and watched Night Court in high school. Both enjoyable, but very sexual for a young man in the pre-internet 80s. Uh, Light, I grew up in South Florida in the 70s and 80s on Saturday nights. Johnny, (laughs) Johnny, do we know each other? Maybe. (laughs) Just kidding. On on Saturday nights on public TV, there would be Jack Horkheimer, the Star Hustler, a local astronomy show about the upcoming week sky. That's a fun show. Uh, Upcoming week sky sightings. That's fascinating. That's Uh, really cool. After the Star Hustler, the PBS station would rerun, would run Benny Hill reruns. As a Uh. British show, it would not so infrequently show full on naked boobs, unscrambled, not in a print bag. Oh, yeah. 100%. Again, hell yeah. (laughs) Again, in the 80s, this was huge. Anyway, Mm -hmm. keep on trekking. I hope to be in in touch soon, Jay. So thanks, Johnny. Jay or Johnny? You said Jay? Oh, no, Jay, he just put a letter, the J. Oh, letter J. Ah, oh, oops, yeah, got so, it. Yeah, so Johnny, it. yeah. yeah. Thank so you, you, Johnny. Go. So good to hear from you. Like, yeah, good to hear from you. Yeah, yeah it's good to hear from Johnny. The content of Benny Hill, the show aside, I just love the yakety sax theme. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's uh, so good. Uh, it's a good content. What are you fucking talking about, dude? <laughs> it's just that I haven't watched a lot of actual Benny Hill like TV myself. He's it's, just it's, he's getting the hijinks and he's trying to grab ladies' boobs. Yep, okay. That's the best it. type of fucking and, writing on TV, dude. <laughs> There's nothing better. Fuck nothing Breaking better. Bad. Yeah. No. When's <laughs> newbie Benny Bad. Hill? Yeah. <laughs> it should be a fucking statue to Benny Hill. In this Hill. episode, he, he ran get, after Get this Nate wa- to redo Yakety Sax for us. <laughs> but <laughs> as a Western <laughs> theme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, if you guys would like to check out other things we do, just head on over to FugitiveFrames.com. Aha. Uh-huh. And uh, that'll have links to all the things we do, including the Would You Stay Tuned podcast that we are eventually planning to sort of get back into doing more. Next week, we should be bouncing back to TNG. And let me make sure. Yes, we are. Oh, it's this one. Aquiel. Isn't that a weird title? Aquiel. That's yeah, the name of the sure. episode. So that's what we're going to be watching next week. Until then, thanks everybody for listening. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Love you guys so much. Watch Aquil. Check out the fine print. Check out the fine print. Check out the Ferengi print. Always, always, always read the Ferengi print. Yeah, Yeah. always read the Ferengi print in your Disney agreements. You don't want the Disney lawyers to come after you. (laughs) 